السلام علیکم خواتین و حضرات میں ہوں آپ کا میزبان سید علی زر باس رضوی اور آپ دیکھ رہے ہیں دا اسٹوڈنٹ کارنر ود علی زر جو آتا ہے لائف برسبن آسٹریلیا پہ براٹ یو بائی دی امیریکن کالج خواتین و حضرات پچھلے ہمارا جو ایک سیشن گزرا ہم نے اس میں اسپیسیفکلی اسٹوڈنٹس کے بارے میں ڈسکس کیا اور اسٹوڈنٹ کنسلٹنسی کے بارے میں ڈسکس کیا ویزا پالیسیز کیا ہوں گی اور ڈاکیومنٹس کیا ہوں گے اس چیز کے اوپر ہم لوگوں نے تھوڑی سی روشنی ڈالی اور اگر ہم اس سے تھوڑا پہلے ایک پروگرام کے اوپر دیکھیں تو ہم نے اسپیسیفکلی ویٹ سیکٹر کے اوپر بات کری جس کے نام ہمارے پاس ایک امیریکن کالج کے ایک ریپرزینٹیو تھے مسٹر ہیری جس نے جنہوں نے پوری صورتحال پہ روشنی ڈالی اور ہمیں بتایا کہ نہ ہی صرف اسٹوڈنٹس یونیورسٹیز کے اندر آ سکتے ہیں بلکہ کالجز کے اندر بھی آ سکتے ہیں اور ضروری نہیں ہے کہ انٹرنیشنل اسٹوڈنٹ کو صرف انجینئرنگ یا آئی ٹی یا پھر اور کسی سو کال وائٹ کالر جاب کے لیے ہی اسٹڈی کرنے کی ضرورت ہو بلکہ وہ یہاں پہ الگ الگ کورسز میں بھی آ سکتا ہے جس میں آتا ہے ہمارا ککری جس میں آتا ہے ہمارے کارپینٹری اینڈ دیر سو مینی ادر سیکٹرز جو آسٹریلیا اپنے ڈومین میں کور کرتا ہے وین اٹ کمس ٹو ایجوکیشن تو اسی سچویشن کو مد نظر رکھتے ہوئے آج ہمارے پاس ہماری ایک گیسٹ ہیں جن کا نام ہے ہمانی کریا اور یہ ہیں اور یہ ہیں ہمارے گیسٹ دا امیریکن کالج سے یہ ہیں ہیڈ ٹرینر اینڈ اسسٹر ایٹ امیریکن کالج مس ہمالی السلام علیکم کیسے ہیں آپ میں بہت بڑھیا ہوں تھینکس فار ہیونگ می وتھ یو آپ کیسے ہو جیسا ہم آلریڈی جانتے ہیں کہ آسٹریلیا اپنی انڈسٹری اور اپنی ایجوکیشن سیکٹر کے اوپر بیس کرتا ہے اور اس کا ایجوکیشن سیکٹر صرف کچھ انسٹیٹیوٹ کی طرف نہیں بلکہ اٹس ویری مچ وائڈ اٹ کنسٹ آف آف اسٹاف تو کیپنگ یور ڈومین انڈر کنسڈریشن اب چونکہ آپ ہاسپٹیلٹی میں آپ نے جیسا ہم بات کر رہے تھے کہ بارہ سال سے آپ نے کام کیا ہوا اٹس ویری لانگ ٹائم How do you find this hospitality? And to be very specific, what hospitality is? Um, when we say hospitality, it's such a simple term that we make our guests comfortable and offer them food and services. Right. But it has lots of aspects, especially when guests are paying money. Right. So uh, when you have customers, uh, you are serving them food. So you have to enhance the service, expecting their needs, right? So that's what we teach at American College, right? So um, just to let you know that I'm a trainer and assessor, as you said, at American College, and uh, we have hospitality courses, and we teach our students how to um, enhance the customer services, expecting their needs. Considering the fact that um, Australia, can there, even if you want to be a tradie, even if you want to work for anything, صرف اور صرف لائسنس بنا دینا اٹس ناٹ ویری امپورٹنٹ یو ہیو ٹو ہیو اے ہول نالج آف اٹ لائک ایف این انڈیویژل ورکس ان اے ریسٹورینٹ سو ان چیزوں کو کنسیڈریشن میں رکھتے ہوئے ہاؤ مینی کورسز آر دیئر ان ہاسپٹیلٹی اس کے اوپر تھوڑی سی روشن ڈالے پلیز سو امیریکن کالج از ریئلی گڈ پرووائڈر آف ہاسپٹیلٹی کورسز اٹس ون آف دا آر ٹی اوز ان ویت سیکٹر and uh, we have a trade course which is called sort for in commercial cookery and uh, after that student can uh, have a pathways to diploma in hospitality management and then again they can do advanced diploma in hospitality management and they can get the vast knowledge in hospitality industry so uh, by doing sort for in commercial cookery um, they can become a chef um, So as you say that you don't need a white collar job, um, but you know, they can have a white jacket job. Oh, <laughs> so they can, can get a chef's uniform and a chef's uniform comes with ros- lots of responsibility. Um, so yeah, they can, and in hospitality sector, uh, they have different courses um, like diploma. They can become a restaurant manager, Uh, or a supervisor and advanced diploma they can have a manager work in a bigger organization like five star hotels or seven star hotels right so there are so many opportunities if they pursue these courses um so if we talk about diploma and advanced diploma is there any other sector which is linked with the hospitality as well i mean any other course as well ya phir sirf yahi do courses hote hain jinke par hum log specify rakhenge Huh. Uh, this is limited to wet sector. So diploma level courses and advanced uh, level, uh, advanced diploma level courses are, uh, can be studied in wet, wet sector. Then comes graduation and, you know, bachelors and masters. All right. 
um considering the diploma at this very moment um diploma jay course hota hai which is of course the name says for itself lekin iske andar kya kya wo cheeze hain jo um ek individual student ko um chef banati hain or to give him a skill what sort of skills are there in the diploma and the advanced diploma like what's the basic difference all right so to become a chef the student need to pursue search for in commercial cookery so um let me give you a brief idea about cert 4 right um cert 4 is the highest level of courses um uh, and that can qualify someone to become a qualified chef there is a cert 3 course where uh, one can become a cook not the chef and when you become cook to uh, pers- uh, once they do, do cert 4 they again have to do two years of uh, work placement training and uh, then they become chef but when they do cert for in commercial cookery that means certificate for in commercial cookery and uh, they straight away become a chef all right so basically there's a difference between cook and chef so cook cook is something jo chef ke under kaam kar sakta that's that's how can we um, can we sum- summarize it up <laughs> that's that's exactly what it is so uh, let me give you a brief idea about the kitchen brigade uh, because um, see so so yeah kitchen uh, kitchen team is called brigade so what happens that uh, we follow the uh, french cuisine which is the mother of all culinary industry right so in ancient days why it's called brigade in ancient days uh, chefs used to march in kitchen because uh, as i told you earlier chef white jacket comes with lots of responsibilities uh, because you are offering someone a food and uh, if food is not hygienic uh, the person can even die right so that's why it's called brigade and uh, there are different levels of chef so um, while students study they can get experiment in kitchen and uh, they can do the duties of kitchen hand and cooks once they finish their study with their certificate they can become a chef so there are different levels of chef um the graduate cert for student can become a commis chef where they don't do much of the major cooking but they take care of the salad area which is called larder kitchen and they climb the ladder with the experience to the chef de party which is called the shift chef so they take care of one area and then comes sous chef and head chef and of course executive chef is the top on the ladder oh uh, the highest one the ones with the um extreme sort of charisma in them <laughs> all the powers and authority all, right. all the experience exactly exactly so there are the levels perfect perfect i'm um, talking about your background um himali um how did you start at this whole scenario i mean how did you get into this um this this hospitality course what were the things that gave you the motivation and how can you prosper in australia once you get into this hospitality please sure i would love to share that with you all um as you know that i'm uh, from the south um asian um origin origin from south asian country and um, we have a great cultural heritage on hospitality industry and it was my dream to explore the western world uh, cuisine you know because um, uh, as i told you earlier french is the mother of all culinary industry and knowing only like my cuisine it's not enough to explore the world so that brought me to australia and i pursue my study as a a uh, chef uh, started learning um, the art of culinary um, as a and did my search for in commercial cookery and more i learned more i fell in love with the art of food that we can craft it with our own hand you know and um, then i just went into deep and then i did different roles in a chef right started from the kitchen hand to climb the ladder and became head chef uh, in one of the organization and um, uh, this is like 12 years i am working in the hospitality industry uh, currently i am working at suncorp stadium i am a casual pool of chef um, so i am basically a chef de party who runs a corporate box kitchen at suncorp stadium all right so 
do you think ke um if we consider um the hospitality under our um under our domain do you think is there any stop i mean whenever we go up to the ranks there's always a limit right so if we talk about um hospitality to be to be particular is there any limit or is just a sky is the limit of course sky is the limit um so see hospitality industry is not about chefing not about cooking it's it's such a satisfying job i must say through my past experience you know uh, like when you're working as a chef you know uh, if customers satisfied straight away they tap the table they send the message uh, you know compliment to the chef and it's such a rewarding profession uh, if you are working somewhere you have to wait for some time to get the feedback here you get the instant feedback and i really love about it and um, hospitality sector is divided into different areas like it's not in kitchen area but front front of the house where you are the face of the restaurant or organization you deal with different types of uh, culture and um, again uh, coming in this world like currently um food plays a vital role bringing people together you know uh, people from different ethnic be- background they are having food at your place and everyone has different requirements whether it's dietary or cultural or religious so the more you go into it more it's urge to learn different things right from the cultural uh, food and being in australia which is the most much multicultural country it helps to explore this different cuisine from around the world and the surprising thing about um, this whole scenario is that when i came to australia if i if i talk about myself i didn't know that what kebabs are i didn't know that what uh, shish kebabs and what adanas are but then again i got i got into this whole scenario i looked into it there were so many desserts there were so many um food the the level of multiculturalism is there in australia is just remarkable and the way they promote their stuff it's 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 undoubtedly to take under consideration um so talking about um the the courses to be very specific um aapko kya lagta hai kaun kaun se skills ek individual student ke paas hone chahiye once he gets his footsteps into the hospitality like wo kaun se skills ho jo student ke paas already ho like not what he's getting afterwards but before honestly speaking um if if i talk about american college right um if student passes their year 12 and straight away join american college they hardly need nothing we give them all required knowledge at american college right from the basic knife skills how to hold knife and understanding different types of knife to how to lead a kitchen team right so basically if students come with the bare uh, blank page bare slate we just write down everything right from the skill and knowledge required to become a chef and um, we make them captain of the industries basically <laughs> with Harry. our skills and uh, knowledge that we provide at american college perfect so so as being a chef or as being a cook you don't have to be naturally chef you you don't have to be naturally cook all you have to be naturally is to be polite and humble and to actually think about the other so that you can put your heart and put your love into the food the thing that you make correct yeah that's exactly right you know why um you might be you are in uh, here you might be missing your mom's food a lot right so um be, why it was so nice because it's cooked with a um, love and affection and you know many of them are watching on tv that okay chefs swear and these and that chef actually don't swear they put their heart the effort the love on the food uh, to present one food like seriously if i tell about the experience even the garnish the little micro herb they select wisely and put it on that and it's such an art that's why it's called art right and that's why the food is so good and um, that makes customer happy that's all about hospitality and i completely agree about uh, with you um 
probably uh, well thank you so much uh ab hum lenge a short commercial break abhi tak hum logo ne jo discuss kiya hai it was more about the introduction of the hospitality that how hospitality is what are the soft skills that an individual need aur jaise hum ab break se baat the break se bahar uh, break se wapas aayenge to we'll probably discuss about the technical terms ki what are the courses how 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 the co- how the cookery and the whole scenario is been designed the length of the courses the job titles the main duties ye sari ki sari baatein hum aap se abhi discuss karenge ms himali aap stay tuned rahega and we'll be right back thank you very much hi my name is kasha lopez and i'm the customer service manager here at american college my name is chirat rodrigo i'm the training and development officer at american college american college is a registered training organization here in australia we offer trade courses in automotive the automotive sector you gain skills by enrolling in certificate 3 in light vehicle mechanical technology certificate 4 in automotive mechanical diagnosis and diploma of automotive technology for more information please call us on 33917599 or you can email us at admin@americancollege.edu.au we look forward to hearing from you soon American College, located in the heart of Woolloongabba, is a nationally accredited registered training organisation by the Australian Skills Quality Authority. Our motivations entail competency-based trainings, tapping vocational outcomes. I think the education is real. It's really represent the and the vocational education sector in Australia. It's one-to-one feedback and that sort of experience I haven't really felt anywhere else. American College takes a client-centered approach as the welfare of our students takes an utmost precedence. Founded on the motto empowering aspiring minds, every thought, every word, and every effort of American College revolves around this dictum. American College is the place to be. And I'm glad you have chosen American College as your institution of learning. Welcome. Our national alliance with Alpha Crucis College and Australian Catholic University and the international alliance with Global Open University ensure that our aspiring graduates have seamless access to higher education programs in Australia and worldwide. American College is the place to learn varied vocations so that upon completion the student can immediately start earning, keep his or her head high free from fear of financial insecurities and participate in the society as a responsible and free citizen of the nation assalam alaikum khawateen aur hazrat khush aamdeed jaisa humne apne program ke pehle section mein discuss kiya uh, mr himali se ke actually hospitality hoti kya hai uske terms and conditions aur uska jo basic structure hota hai wo exactly hota kya hai ab hum apne program ke dusre hisse mein discuss karenge ke hospitality what exactly it is um, certificate for kya hota hai what are the length of the courses job titles or main jo job opportunities hoti hain wo kya hongi to mr himali welcome back sure thank you So carry on with this uh, with these questions that I have at this very moment. So Mr. Himali, those students jinko abhi is hospitality ke baare mein itna kuch nahi pata, the ones who are just very fresh at the moment, certificate for commercial cookery kya hoti hai? If you could uh, if you could just enlighten this thing please. Right. Um so certificate for commercial cookery ek uh, skill based course hai. Right? So student come here um they have to get acquire the skill ne- needed to become a chef and skill is must be the combination of theory and practicals both so american college has a fully equipped commercial kitchen um where students can put have their hands on the practical task so they they start learning um, and identifying different ingredients you know because students are coming from uh, different countries and different backgrounds so they might be getting some different foods different meat there and australia is having their own so um we we show them right from the basic ingredients uh, how you can prepare those ingredients and what different types of cookery method you use uh, to present uh, cook and present the dish uh sought for in commercial cookery 
um, the course is 78 weeks program so which is basically one and a half year so it seems uh, like one and a half year course but in one and a half year course think about the student who is coming uh, they know nothing about cook and they come out and become a chef in this one and a half year so um, they have lot to take over like um, different units so they have 33 subjects to do where 10 subject has practical but we at american college stretch the practical knowledge give importance to practical knowledge that i can say uh, for all 78 weeks so we don't only teach once twice but three times so that they are perfect in the skills where they needed so it's more with the theory and practical to be combined so like joe uh, so that like the theory that a student uh, learns in, in in his individual class he gets to have a chance as well to actually put that into performing like uh, since you guys already uh, said it you guys have in like a a, a kitchen as well so yes. you actually a fully process all the dishes and everything Sorry, I, I, I could not get you. No, that's fine. So you basically actually cook into the kitchen. That's, that's like exactly correct. right. Yes. Fully equipped commercial kitchen so they can perform their tasks. See, sometimes someone says that I know cooking. I cook it at home. So home cooking is totally different than uh, what they cook it in restaurant. Right? Uh, so they need to understand how actually commercial kitchen works and you know student when they do task actually in equipped fully equipped commercial kitchen they are using different equipment which they never used in at home right so when they go into the practical world they know how uh, commercial kitchen restaurant kitchen or hotel kitchen works and if you talk about the certificate for after an individual he has done a certificate for so he's a cook or he's a chef definitely he's a chef so he's a chef so it's basically a full-time course considering your career as well and putting yourself into it is it correct that's that's exactly what um, you are saying is correct uh, it's a full-time course and uh, the person who has no skill no knowledge they come out with the title of chef all right. Uh, okay. it's sorry, sorry to, yep. not with just the piece of certificate, but the skills and knowledge they need to perform the task in commercial kitchen. So it's basically a full-fledged package. Exactly. That's correct. And considering the fact that you have to spend 1.5 years out of it, and then you can literally spend the whole of your life in doing what you love at. Yes. And, you know, uh, once they become chef, the lot of avenues open for them you know today world is all about uh, tourism hospitality especially if you see australia the gold coast the world's you know beautiful beach um, where it is sunshine coast of queensland just next door and the tourists from all over the world come so uh, you know they get chance and benefit to serve tourists from all around the world so that's vast avenue open, open for them um ye to khair baatein ho gayi um how cookery works and what are the terms and conditions and everything ab main cheez ke upar aate hain both students because at the end of the day um if you're not getting paid well there's no point of like you know pursuing in your life to agar pay scale ke upar hum log baat kar rahe hain to like what are the job titles that an individual can have when he finally gets done with the certificate for I mean, is it something um, that's not like a very good pay or is something that he can actually earn good? What are the things? What tempting baat kya hai? I would really love to share that this with you, right? Once um, they finish commercial cookery, they are full-fledged chef. So as I told you earlier, students can get, gain little knowledge while they are studying. And uh, when, once they finish, they acquire some knowledge um, you know, the basic knowledge and uh, the book knowledge and um, theory knowledge from American college. And also they get uh, other knowledge from, you know, where they are working. So after they become chef, they can work as a chef. And uh, just to let you know that Australia has highest minimum wage for chef around the world. 
So here you go. So money speaks. <laughs> money freaks, exactly. I mean, well, it's it's kind of how the things work. If you're getting paid good, you actually put yourself into it. And if you're not happy about what you're doing, there's no point of it. And no wonder why I didn't change my profession. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. You spent 12, 12 years into it and you're still here and there's um, you never know that how far an individual is going to go. I mean, um, jobs so ache that are at the end of the day, there is a uh, there is an option that if you can open up your restaurant and if you, if you can initiate a business, be an entrepreneur. And me being a student, I always prefer going towards the skill rather than going just for the education, because the skill is something that enables you to upgrade yourself, whereas education, um, it helps you a lot. Um, it helps you to have a conversation. But then again, I prefer skills. That's just how I am. What, what, what do you comment on? And see, that's what I tell my students. Every single uh, class, you won't believe that what I tell uh, my students, that skills can never be taken from you. It will stay uh, with you. And if you stay in the profession, it keeps honing. You know, uh, you learn more, you sharp your skills and then you climb the ladder. And honestly, at American College, you won't believe that um, we have a simulated uh, practical thing where some students become customer, they order their meals and other uh, students cook for them and present them. So they are not only getting knowledge like skill, we are teaching them the dishes, uh, but they are also um, understanding the practicality of the kitchen, how really it works. And they have to present dishes in time constraint. So th though they are serving students, we don't tell them that, OK, take your time, be at Lizar. And I say, just chop, chop, chop. It's 20 minutes. Sell them. Done. And, you know, they, they really enjoy. So that's what I so, like about American college. <laughs> So Himali, basically you're Chef Ramsey in American College. Oh no, I don't swear. <laughs> well, neither of us, honestly speaking, and it's not very professional as well <laughs> at the end of the day. All right. Um, well, thank you, Himali. Um this interview. Um after the break, main duties, overall um structure of the course, whether if it's assignment, if it's exam, and then the third, the most important thing. Would students in the subcontinent get to have a visa, uh, visa subclass 500, if an individual goes for the cookery, rather than spending thousands and hundreds of dollars um, uh, and giving it to the university? Is there any alternate as well? So stay tuned, please. Or we come to a short commercial break. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kasha Lovens and I'm the Customer Service Manager here at American College. My name is Chirat Rodrigo, I'm the Training and Development Officer at American College. American College is a registered training organization here in Australia. We offer trade courses in automotive. For the automotive sector, you gain skills by enrolling in Certificate 3 in Light Vehicle Mechanical Technology. Certificate 4 in Automotive Mechanical Diagnosis. And Diploma of Automotive Technology. For more information, please call us on 33917599 or you can email us at admin at americancollege.edu.au. We look forward to hearing from you soon. American College, located in the heart of Woolloongabba, is a nationally accredited registered training organization by the Australian Skills Quality Authority. Our motivations entail competency-based trainings, tapping vocational outcomes. I think the education is real. It's really represent the, uh, the vocational education sector in Australia. It's one-to-one -one feedback and that sort of experience I haven't really felt anywhere else. American College takes a client-centered approach as the welfare of our students takes an utmost precedence. Founded on the motto, empowering aspiring minds, every thought, every word, and every effort of American College revolves around this dictum. American College is the place to be, and I'm glad you have chosen American College as your institution of learning. Welcome.
our national alliance with Alpha Crucis College and Australian Catholic University and the international alliance with Global Open University ensure that our aspiring graduates have seamless access to higher education programs in Australia and worldwide. American College is the place to learn varied vocations so that upon completion the student can immediately start earning, keep his or her head high, free from fear of financial insecurities and participate in the society as a responsible and free citizen of the nation. Assalamu alaikum khawateen ahazad and welcome back to the third part of the student corner with Alizer and we have our guest with our guest Ms. Himali who is head trainer and a sister at American College so Ms. Himali, as we discussed with you the individual who finally becomes chef ban jata hai, when we had a whole discussion about the introduction and then the job procedures and everything now coming towards the main duties what are the main duties of a, of a chef if um, he or she finally gets into a restaurant so what are the main duties that he performs over there? So, um, see, when someone becomes chef, um, our thinking is uh, their duty is to cook. So the duty starts like right from the planning process, you know, developing a menus, developing the recipes, um, coordinating the team. Uh, and that is management skill as well. Uh, so if because student have, uh, must be doing the package of cookery and hospitality courses. So they learn everything. In short for commercial cookery, they will be learning uh, how to design a menu, how to um, develop the recipes of their own. Uh, they will learn different cuisines. They will learn different types of meat, poultry, seafood, and what treatment they can give. And what type of cooking method they use and um, in diploma they will learn the management skills you know like preparing roasters um talking to the customers organizing oh, parties uh, functions sorry, and everything but if we talk diploma, ki baat kare, to is it just the diploma or is the advanced diploma where you learn all the management stuff what what, what which one is it all right so at diploma level you can become a manager right of the organization but when you do advanced diploma you can become manager in a big restaurant hotel seven star hotels because uh, from diploma to advanced they just have to do you know 11 more units and they are of the developing policies and procedures so you can work as a manager in both but then over here you can work as an assistant manager manager over there you will be developing policy and procedure when you are doing advanced diploma of hospitality perfect tamale and if we talk about the job options over here i mean we have talked about the duties we have talked about uh, we've talked about the job titles the length of the course and everything but when it comes to the job how do you find australian market to be open for the chefs and the cooks right so um as I told you that Australia is the biggest tourist destination, right? Uh, people from all over the world travel Australia and that has opened the avenues for the chef. You know, the opportunity is growing bigger and bigger. Um, so if you have a skill, there's no looking back because in these 12 years, I have never seen that demand of chef has gone down, right? Um, even my chef at uh, Suncorp, my executive chef, always says, do you have any chef we want to hire? Every January, they hire chef. So right now, currently, they have a pool of 65 chefs, right? And during games, like bigger games, state of origin, you might be knowing, uh, there normally 110 chefs uh, work that time. So seeing all these and see australia are really foodie they go above and beyond uh, and experiment different types of food so those who are those who have skills there's there's never looking back there's always a job opportunity there 
So basically, if you look into the wider prospect, I don't think so that an individual would actually get jobless unless or until uh, he or she chooses to be. So in this whole domain, there there's always chance to improve. There's always um, opportunities over there yet to well uh, yet to avail for an individual. Is that true? That's that's exactly what it is. Yes. Perfect. So in short, jobs company padenge, which is um, a security for the students and a security for a lot of people. Jo apne aapko is some hospitality se munsale karna chahte hain. So talking about the overall structure of the course, um, Himali, um, is jo ye pura procedure hota hai. I mean, the whole syllabus. How do you guys assess your students? I mean, is it uh, does it have any assignments? Does it have any tests, or is just the practical implementation of a student? First. Let me share your good news with the students. There are no exams. <laughs> wow. So yes, there are no exams in this course because this course is competency-based course, and uh, that's why I told you earlier that uh, we teach our students um, again and again. Like um, only nine or ten units has practicals, but we stretch our practicals for seventy-eight weeks for the entire duration of course. So. Um, students gets competition competency to perform their task so if you know for example if you do once there's a chances that you might forget but you do twice yes you will remember and you will do thrice you will acquire that skill for rest of your life so that's the motive of american college you know we uh, believe that if we are providing skill uh, we just need to give them for the rest of the life So basically, we got no exams, we got no assignments. Wait. But what do we have? Is practical examination, and which is the best? I mean, if you give me a good meal, you're passed. Is that the case? That's the case, exactly. Student, student come here. Student learn. Student serve student. So they become customer. They get guests. So it's the uh, most fun learning thing I can just portray to you. That sounds so interesting. And coming towards the main topic, the main scenario, the students, Joe, um, who are there in the subcontinent, like uh, well, ex subcontinent, who are there in Pakistan, India, um, anywhere else in the world, do those students have an opportunity to grab their student visa, like subclass five hundred, on the basis of applying into hospitality, or let's be specific, applying in American college? There we go. See, I might not be the right person. Uh, but yes, um, I don't know about subclass and all. I'm not um, a trained, you know, registered yeah. agent. Uh, so I'm a trainer and assessor. But I have many students coming from, you know, India, Pakistan, Bhutan, even Thailand, um, Vietnam. We have Vietnamese student, uh, you know, Filipino. So uh, many students coming from uh, different uh, countries and yes they are getting visa on um, for studying sort for in commercial cookery and hospitality and talking about the future after they finish they have chances of applying for temporary residency on uh, when they finish their sort for in commercial cookery and diploma of hospitality management if they finish this package and uh, um, they get experience yes they have chances of applying temporary residency and after they apply temporary residency they have chances of doing their job ready program as a professional chef for 2 years and this will open the doors uh, for them and later on for their permanent residency so this is basically a uh, a step by step process uh, we can call someone uh, who really knows in detail about that because this might need a whole interview on its own to you know explain this job ready program and everything so uh, but uh, this is the process i know and just want to share with you that um, few of the american college students they are working as a, a successful chef in the industry and not in brisbane but you know they have found themselves in a um, tourist destination like 1770 uh, gladstone north of north of queensland and even in like hotels and restaurants and those students have applied for job ready program um, they have gone through so the success rate 
who are studying at American college is looking good to me at this point. All right. So um, there's always a chance. Like, I mean, once you get into the zone, you get to know the pros and cons of that the specific place as well, which is um, undoubtedly a good point. And I'll definitely recommend those students um, who are not willing to pay 22 to 50 to 30,000 Australian dollars per year um, and be uh, an IT profession engineer or anyone or those students jinka budget thoda sa kam hai which is completely fine i mean or those students jo apne liye earn karte hain and uh, the ones who are earning for themselves instead of their father paying for them so i believe that this is a good opportunity that they can still apply from their um, respected domain and they can still go abroad they can still go for the immigration and you never know once you get on the shore you get you experience you, you like experience more stuff you experience uh, more opportunities there's so many doors that are yet to be unlocked. Right, Himali? Yes, that's, that's perfectly fine. And even, you know, sometimes students say that, uh, um, some students say, no, we want to go back, parents are calling. And, you know, you have a skill, right? You can, you can open a restaurant or you can open anything all around the world, whether after gaining skill year, you can go to UK, you can go to Canada, and still um, it will be same. Because um, chef is chef everywhere. The skill never okay. changes. There you go. It never changes once you learn here. Because uh, we focus on, say, international cuisine. You know, whether you have a skill at from your country, come and get um, these skills and um, yeah, hone your skills. Alrighty. Well, thank you very much, Ms. Mali. And uh, it was really nice talking to you. It was not more of an interview, but, but, but more of a debate. And we really enjoyed it. And I hope that our viewers enjoyed it as well. And um, just giving it a small um, kick to the viewers. It doesn't matter if, you, if your finances are not supporting your dreams. If you have your ways, if you have your motivation on point, 100% you can reach the scores. Um, Give it an initiative. Um, go for the uh, go for the new stuff. I'm pretty much sure there would be something. Joke, kama jagi at the end of the time. So thank you very much, Ms. Simali, and it was really nice talking to you. Or isi pyaar aur mohabbat ke saath. Inshallah, phir hazir honge. The student corner with Aliza brought to you by the American College. Thank you.